Okay, out with the old. And in with the new. This is a Craftsman 10 inch uh, 21400. And this, you know, uh, I've never been ripped off where it concerns tools, except this. This is the biggest, most expensive piece of junk I ever bought. And uh, there are some things you can buy sight unseen on Amazon, and some things, if you can't put your hands on it, uh, you should probably pass it up. This is, uh, I mean, you can't even cut paper or uh, cold air with this damn thing. It's a, it's a hunk of junk. It is so underpowered. And uh, I bought it to mostly cut brass pins when I was thinking about getting into the knife making business. And uh, it barely even cut brass pins. I cut probably three pins and had to replace the blade. And that's another thing, these blades are so, well you can't find them except through this company or have them custom made at a saw shop because they're an odd size. And uh, just a hunk of junk, no power. Uh, you put a piece of dowel rod up against here and uh, you know, half inch dowel and it would just about stop the mulger. Piece of junk. And now, what do I do with it? I mean, it is crap. Do I try and sell it and stick somebody? Or do I just cut my losses and maybe give it to a, a hobby person or something, someone that cuts really small stuff like balsa wood or paper? Anyway, let me get that off and uh, get this on here. I'm hoping, I, I'm positive that this, well, I'm not positive, but I'm hoping that the table is above this because I'm going to put it at uh, kind of this angle so I'll be able to slide things through this away because uh, if I mount it this way, it's not deep enough to run anything through there. So I may have to totally refigure how I got this bench set up or put this on its own base. Now I had a big one that I bought from uh, my friend Rob and uh, I thought I could take the saw off and put it on here. It was on its own base, but the base actually had the motor in it that ran the saw. It was just a, uh, the motor was down in the base and then a belt came up to the saw. It was a 1984 Craftsman, really well built. But it took up so much room, I had to get rid of it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at a, you know, I'm in a bind for space, so I have to be really picky about what tool I have in here. But I could put this on rollers, or, uh, you know, maybe two rollers that I could roll, you know, tip backwards and move it around if it doesn't fit on this table. Let me get that prox on off of there. Get this out of its box and. Uh, Give it a give it a go see how it looks hey girls i got a yacht a lot of money and a sports car uh i got nothing but a table saw and an old pickup truck <laughs> you're out of here you cheap piece of junk all right i'm gonna bolt that down to the table and I'm almost positive. I haven't measured. I'm just going to be, it's going to be a surprise when I set it over there. If the table is higher than that, uh, I got it made. I don't have to do anything. We'll see. All right, let's run a little piece of uh, one by four through here. It's even quieter than that little bitty one. Put a square on this and see how square that cut. Let's do that now. Yeah, don't look, it's a mess. Let's find a square.
Yeah. All right, it cut square. I'm happy. Yeah, I can't say enough bad things about this. Uh, all my life of buying tools, that is the biggest I've ever been ripped off. I, I can't remember, but I think it was nearly, <coughs> nearly 300 bucks I give for that, which is just insane. And in the picture, it looked about that big. And uh, what I couldn't find in the description of this was that. There is no way, no way I'd have bought something with an eighth of a horsepower. So uh, they did a real good job of disguising this. And then if you look at the reviews of this, it's got to be lies. Because uh, some of the stuff people claim they cut on this is just not possible. Not possible. So, I'm going to put this on Craigslist and I'm going to advertise it as a as a hobbyist, crafter kind of thing. I mean, it's good for small dowels and balsa wood, and, but it's not, not for two by fours and one by fours. That's uh, meant for much smaller stuff than what I was cutting. And I have a brand new blade right there that I'll send with it. I'm probably gonna try to get a hundred bucks out of it. You know, for a crafter in somebody's spare bedroom that they've turned into a craft room, It'll be just fine. And uh, I'll even let them plug it in here and see if it will work for them. Anyway, that's just a little tool update. It is a little cramped over there. I want to be thinking what I can do over here to... I use this a lot more than I use that. I may take that off and move this over and then figure out something else to do with the big one. Uh, I can't move it over. I have to be able to open this door. Uh, that wall is kind of full. <laughs> I have a door there. There's really nowhere else I can put it. I can't put it on my bench because I do other stuff over here. So <sighs> maybe, maybe I will, uh, I don't know. I, I, I want to sit and think about it, drink a cup of coffee. But uh, I'm just going to clean up a bunch of junk. I still have that tile cutting saw. It's a wet saw to cut tile and the, uh, the tile cutter there, and the floats. And I live in Sibley, Louisiana. If anybody's near me and they want them, come get them. I'll give them to you. Oh, I could even go as far as Shreveport, uh, Ruston, meet you somewhere, you know, in Ruston, or, or uh, let's see, how far south? I really hate going south, but uh, Cachada wouldn't be out of the question. And the Arkansas line, how's that? No charge, not even gas, maybe a cup of coffee. Alrighty, thanks for watching y'all. Lucy's doing great, I'll show you a little clip after this. The white limited modified class instructor is retired warfare. Yeah, the turbine engine, don't run with the turbine engine up in the air. Yeah, I put the brake there, look out. Better look for me. I can tell from here I don't even have to see the flight, but that is gonna be an out of bounds run. Sometimes you just have to embrace your inner redneck. And I like monster trucks too. So sue me. Hey, uh, here's a Lucy update. Yep, all is well on the western front once again. Come in yeah, we got our old Lucy back. There's no way <laughs> we can live there for She's 100%. That for another year, no. Yeah, we feel better, Lucy. You are a sick girl. We are so glad to have you back. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's time for me to get up. Get some work done. <laughs> Where does one dog start and the other end? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> yep. 
You guys are in the lap of the lap of love. Okay, guys, I gotta get up. Everybody up. Time to get up. Got work to do. Not you? You sleeping in?